Alrighty guys, so we have an interesting update today. Um, it's not what you were expecting because there was some unfortunate events that have occurred in Toronto and at Canada's Wonderland that got in the way of doing a proper construction update. I'll get to those in just a bit. But to summarize the construction site, they are finishing off the remaining few footers. It looks like they're finishing off the little building structure. And when we show you some awesome shots from CP24 in the later footage, you're going to realize how massive this construction project is. In fact, I'm shooketh. <laughs> I don't know why I use that word, but I am shook. Uh, it is massive. I can't wait for you guys to see the shots. In fact, I could care less about these shots right now that I'm showing you, but I have to show you shots every day. That's basically what I do. So as you can tell, they're finishing off the pre-lift. Um, another interesting turn of events is LED lights have been installed. Yes, these are LED lights. We looked them up. We know the actual um, company that builds them. We are pathetic. I know. Yes, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But LED lights are now installed in the tunnel and the switches are there as well. And just lots going on. So as you can see, these are one sided LED lights. They're above the staircase. They're definitely for maintenance. I don't think they'll be on when the ride is operating. And it looks like the tunnel will probably be pitch black if I had to assume because there's no other sign of lights anywhere in the tunnel for the ride, which is cool. So I'm assuming fog effects on either end or mist effects, whatever they choose to go with, if that at all even, and then it'll be pitch black, which will be awesome. And I couldn't have asked for a better tunnel. I mean, who like, who could ask for um, a dive coaster diving into a lake or pond in the middle of a turnaround on a coaster and coming out the other end on land into another element? I mean, that's sick. I couldn't have asked for a better coaster edition. So, um, interesting enough, um, we don't know much about what happened, but basically Toronto and Canada's Wonderland are under kind of just extra precautions right now due to a threat or advisement. And uh, I couldn't have praised Wonderland and the York Regional Police and the Toronto Police, um, any police officer in Canada right now that's helping out with this any more than by saying a huge thank you. Um, I never felt safer. Um, or more safe. You could tell that the park was doing everything in its power to make um, the situation as safe as possible. And at no point did I feel unsafe. So thank you so much to, again, the police and Canada's Wonderland. You guys obviously handled the situation really well. Um, there was security guards at the toll booth, at front gate, there were security cameras. Every um, bit of fence uh, around the park was covered by police officers. There were police officers on the um, the uh, little like roads that run in service roads in the park and there were police officers walking in the park i mean there was at no moment uh, a point where i felt unsafe so thank you so much to the park and police officers for handling this situation really well um but yeah i'm not going to go into too much of that because we don't know what's going on at the moment so we're not going to speculate on that that's not our job but look at this construction site look how massive it is um so <laughs> you can see um, great shots of like the pre-lift and then where the lift ends, and then you can see the tunnel. So where it, it dives down in the water and then comes out on land. It's very long. These shots actually don't do it justice from this angle for how long this tunnel is, but it is very long. But you guys are missing something. Look in the background there behind um, Mindbuster. Do you see all that flattened land that's been prepped? That's not for a coaster. It's not for an RMC. You see the service road that they built around it too, towards the water buildings? Yeah, I smell a Splashworks expansion in our future. That's a very large piece of land. Um, so here's a good shot. There's the tunnel off to the left there in near Vortex. Here's the massive plot of land for the station break run and element into the break run that we won't discuss. Um, and then you have it heading over towards Timberwolf, which they haven't touched yet. So I sense a lot of maybe slight deforestation in that area as this coaster is definitely heading over there. This is a massive project, and until CP24 posted these aerial shots today due to the events going on, the drone wasn't doing it justice either, so we were able to get these really awesome shots. So there I circled the pre-lift. It is in there, and then the where the lift hill ends over near Splashworks over there to the right of the screen. It is 85 meters long, and the lift should be about 80 meters long, the actual incline, at a 45.8 to 47 degree angle. Um, with 366 feet of track for just the actual angled up part. Um, so that tells you a lot about the height. Um, anyone can guess the height range based off of that. 
So um, have fun with that. <laughs> But yeah, the construction site is a lot larger than we were expecting. You know, it's not your typical dive coaster um, for that matter. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, we got these shots from CP24's helicopter footage. Um, we are just reacting to them. We don't own the rights to these shots at all. Head on over to CP24 to uh, watch the news coverage of what's been going on in Toronto and Canada's Wonderland. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this update. Um, I couldn't go check over any fences or anything due to the events going on. I didn't want to make police officers or anyone at the park uncomfortable with going in weird areas that a typical guest wouldn't. Anyways, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and see you in my next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.